always start by looking at some of the numbers and see if there's going to be um, a relationship. And on this one, we've got tens and fifties, and we know there's going to be five tens for every fifty. It's also a good idea with ratios to do a bit of a table. So we're going to have one fifty p um, gives um, five ten p coins. So if there were two fifty p's, it would be ten. If there were three fifty p's, there'd be fifteen. If there were four fifty p's, there'd be twenty. If there were five fifty p's, there'd be twenty five. So that's going to be your answer. It's asking if there were if Dad gave Mum 25 10p coins, how many 50p coins did Mum give him? Well, the answer would be 5. Uh, again, starting and looking at relationships, we've got one suite and three suites, which is going to be four suites. Look at the relationship between that and 12. Um, there's a clear um, uh, relationship there, three fours are 12. So, how many suites does Jim get if there are 12 suites? So, um, how many fours are there in 12? So there's going to be three sets, and um, Jim's getting one for every set, so Jim would get three suites. In the same thing, if we do it, if we do it as, a, um, as a table again, uh, Jim would get one, and Kate would give, get three, the first set of four, and then... Second set, Jim would now have two, Kate would have six, and that would be eight altogether. The third set, Jim would now have three, Kate would have nine, and that's the twelve that we need to think about. D mixes one tin of red paint with two tins of white. She needs nine tins of paint altogether. How many tins of red paint does she need? Well, again, if we set it out as a table, we've got red, we've got white, and we've got the total number of tins. So one red, two white is three tins altogether. Um, we need to go three, six, nine. So it would go two, four, six, one, two, three in that table. How many tins of red paint does she need? She needs three tins of red paint. There are five toffees to every two chocolates in a box of 28 sweets. So we've got a 28, we've also got a 5 and a 2, 5 and a 2 is 7, 7 fours are 28. There's going to be a relationship there, but let's set it up as a table again. Toffees, chocolates, total sweets. 5 toffees, 2 chocolates, total sweets. Um, there's 28 altogether, so it's going to go 7, 14, 21, 28. Uh, the toffees would go 5, 10, 15, 20, just check the chocolates will go 2, 4, 6 and 8, does that all add up, 10 and 4 is 14, 15 and 6 is 21, 20 add 8 is 28, how many chocolates are there in the box, there would be 8 chocolates in the box. There are 20 girls and 10 boys in a class, what is the ratio of girls to boys, well you could write that 20 to 10, but it says express in its simplest form. So whatever we do to the left of the colon, we need to do to the right. Is there a common factor with common factors? Could be 10. Um, so you could say um, 2 to 1. Okay, in the simplest form. What is the proportion of the class? Sorry, what proportion of the class are boys? So you could say 10 out of, well it's not 10 out of 20 is it, it's 10 out of 30. Again to simplify that to its simplest form, find a common factor for 10 and 30, um, could be 2, that would be 5 out of 15, but actually 10 is a common factor isn't it, 10 divided by 10 is 1, so 1 out of 3 would be the proportion expressed in its simplest form. 18 girls and 12 boys in a class, what is the ratio of girls to boys? Girls to boys, 18 to 12. Um, to express it in its simplest form, find a common factor for both sides, and 6 would go into both sides, 6 threes uh, are, eight, are 18, so that's 3. 2 sixes are 12, so 3 to 2 would be the ratio in its simplest form. 
as a proportion of the whole class, well, it's 12 out of a total of 30. 18 and 12 is 30. Um, try and simplify that. Is there a common factor between 12 um, and 30? Well, 6 is going to both. There are two 6s in 12, and there are five 6s um, in 30. It's two-fifths, basically, two out of five.